Microsoft recently released Copilot for Microsoft 365. This is a nice thing to have because Copilot's been around for a while, but now Microsoft has made it work within the Office applications. I want to show you how you can use it in Excel and use BC Data to get results. So let's get started. Copilot is a brand that Microsoft uses for generative AI across its many products. There's many versions of Copilot, but they recently released Copilot in Microsoft 365 with no minimum user count. It used to be that you could get Copilot with Microsoft 365, but you had to have a large number of users to get the product. Now you can get it with just a single user if you want to. So that's what I did, and I'm gonna show you how to use it with Excel, and we're gonna use data directly from Business Central, and we're gonna use a number of prompts to get different results. So here we go. The first thing I want to look at is the customer ledger entries from Business Central. I'm going to download those into Excel and then run Copilot on it using this prompt right here. Here's my Business Central tenant and I'm going to open up the customer ledger entries. This is a standard list in Business Central. and I'm going to look just at the invoices. So Use that filter there and then I'm going to download it into Excel so here's the data direct from Business Central. I want to save this up to the cloud so I can use Copilot to analyze this data. I'm going to upload it right here. And as soon as I do that, that activates Copilot. You can see it lit up here. This is the way it looks in the Office apps. It's an icon here. I'm going to click on that. The way that generative AI usually works is that that user provides a prompt. Copilot will take that and give results. So I'm gonna put my prompt in right here. You can see it. And then I'm gonna start Copilot. And we'll watch it go. It'll take a little while. It's understanding the data. It's analyzing the data. It's looking at my request. And it's gonna give me some results. So you can see the first set of results. It's a graph. And then here's some text about it. So what I can do with this graph, I can go here, I can add it to my sheet. I'm just going to add this to my worksheet as well, so we can see the results. Copilot provided a response based on my prompt, looking at the BC data. You can see that here. It created a nice graph. This is in Excel, obviously. And from here, I can use it any way that I want to. Before we continue, if you like this type of content, the best way to support us and to help others find this content is to subscribe to our channel, activate the notifications, and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for helping us grow this channel. Let's get back to the demonstration. Let's look at another example using the item ledger entries. I have got three prompts ready to go for this. So we'll see what Copilot does with these prompts and see the results that we get. Here are my item ledger entries. I'm gonna prompt Copilot to look at this data and provide some results. I wanna just look at the item sales so I put a filter just for item sales. I'm gonna download that to Excel. Again, I wanna save this up to the cloud. So let's get started. I'll start Copilot up. This is my first prompt. I wanna add a column and show profitability by line. So let's run that. And this is the first response from Copilot. Analyze the data, suggested this formula right here. I'm gonna insert this column. The column's inserted. I want to go to the next prompt now and get some more information. And I've got another result from Copilot. I'm going to add that to my worksheet as well. I'll add that. And with Excel, Copilot is expecting all the data to be in a table. You can see that Copilot is not responsive now because I'm not looking at a table. Let's go back to the table. It lights up again. And I've got one more prompt. Let's run that prompt. And this is the final result. I'm going to add this to the worksheet as well. I add that. I've got these worksheets right here. You can see them. So the first thing I did was download this information from Business Central into Excel. I activated Copilot by saving it up to the cloud. And I had Copilot add a column to give me the profitability by line. And then I asked Copilot to find the most profitable item in my inventory. 
can see that result here. And then next I said, let's look at the customers. Which customer group is providing the most profitability to me? This was a quick demonstration of how you can use Microsoft 365 Copilot with Dynamics 365 Business Central and also Excel. I would expect that this type of functionality is going to be used on more of an ad hoc basis. A salesperson, a sales manager has an idea, wants to find out some information from all this data that's in his ERP system. He can easily go to Copilot, download that information into Excel and analyze it from there. A lot of this stuff you could do with basic Excel functionality, but Copilot makes it a little easier, also maybe a little faster. If you're going to do the same type of thing over and over again, it probably makes sense to look at a different reporting tool, something like Power BI. Power BI is a great reporting tool. You can really get a lot of nice reports out of it in graphs and dashboards, but it takes some development time. If you want to get answers quick, consider using Copilot with Dynamics 365, Business Central, and Excel.